Well, M&A activity fell off a cliff after the financial crisis, but after a few stutters and missteps, it may now at last be back. The last week, J.P. Morgan's head of investment banking, Douglas Braunstein, said the global market for mergers and acquisitions is seeing a nascent recovery. Well, someone who's already capitalizing on this burdening recovery is John Studinsky. Over the last year, he's advised AIG on some bumper deals and propelled Blackstone Group from 78th to 9th in the global M&A league tables. Now, he says the global volume of M&A deal flow for 2010 could be poised to rise some 25 percent. I'm very pleased to say he joins us now in the studio. Now, John. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for joining us. What is going to drive this recovery in M&A? Um, M&A activity in terms of the number of deals actually has doubled uh, and we've actually seen our pipeline double quarter to quarter between 2010 and 2009. Two or three sectors, uh, a lot of the financial institutions have been selling assets or dumping assets to use a better word. Uh, and people are picking that up. The private equity sector is looking at a lot of those assets. You've seen that speculated here with a number of the assets of RBS, but that's obviously driven the volume coming out of the assets being sold out of AIG, which, of course, the, the Pruse transaction, one of the biggest transactions ever. Other sectors that have been very active, the tech sector, uh, fourth quarter last year, there were five deals over a billion euros, and I think that was the sort of leading edge indicator that tech was just on the beginning of convergence. Uh, and thirdly, you've had a lot of activity, and you see this now with what's happening with Noble and MacArthur and Peabody uh, in the natural resources, metals and mining space. And that clearly is going to continue, very much catalyzed by Asia. And now, can you say that the financials are more the distressed company, so it's because they had to sell or because they had to restructure, whereas with the commodities, you really have a feeling that they believe the recovery is now truly in place and that bigger means better? Financials, that's basically a reaction to assets being available. People need to restructure. Uh, natural resources, people are on the front foot. A lot of proactive consolidation, a lot of leadership, a lot of CEOs with very clear visions on what they want to accomplish. And do we, are we going to see a lot more technology stocks being part of this M&A for the rest of 2010? Technology is a big sector in America and it's, it's a big sector and I th companies in the sort of one to five billion dollar market cap range big convergence there, a lot of activity, a lot of consolidation. Now, John, of course, when there's not a lot of M&A activity, people are worried because they say, well, maybe they can't raise the cash, maybe they have financing problems, or maybe they're just not optimistic about the recovery. Do you believe that now we're firmly in a recovery phase and that's why we're seeing a flurry of M&A activity? I think we're very much in the corporate side in a very strong investment phase, and I think for that reason I'm convinced we are in a recovery phase. This is very evident in North America and it's very evident in Asia. In Europe, it's a bit more touch and go, a bit more case by case. Are we going to see a lot more emerging companies trying to buy some Western companies because of the cash flow and because essentially they came out of the recession much better than our countries? Well, lots of data, Francine. A uh, lot of activity emerging, emerging to develop certainly China uh, in 2009. Uh, the amount of activity doubled. I think there were 30. Uh, Chinese deals in the last six months of 2009 buying into developed areas versus 20 in the first half of last year. So uh, emerging to developed is going up, but also emerging to emerging. You're seeing that with the Barty acquisition of the Zane assets in Africa. Um, so bottom line is Asia and emerging is going to be a big buyer for the next uh, several years. John, when do you see a bumper year? Next year or, or possibly even I this year? I think 2010, uh, 2011 are going to be, the 2010 probably will be a bumper year. I think one of the issues is, is there going to be a stock market correction? Many people feel there could be. If there is a stock market correction, some people say maybe M&A confidence will wane. I actually don't think it will wane because CEOs have got very specific objectives. And if the stock market drops, the people still have cash and they can still accomplish their objectives. John, great to speak to you. Thank you so much, John Studinsky there.